Hello, welcome back to Crafting a Dream. It's Ryan here. Today's video is a little bit of a story about how I detox my life from material possessions or cleanse myself of all my material possessions. I'm 28 now and when I was 26, Tara and I decided that we'd like to go backpacking in Australia for a year. We started to look around at all of our stuff and a lot of the stuff that we never used or hadn't used even in a, a year or two but we just kept dragging it around with us. We decided to, instead of putting it all in storage, we decided to have a bunch of yard sales and post things online for sale, classifieds, and just get rid of this stuff. Get rid of these material things that, well, first of all, we weren't gonna need. All we needed was our backpacks, a few changes of clothes and, and whatever. But also, we it was kind of experiment to see what it would be like to live lighter and to follow up on that, it felt so good. It felt so nice to, to free ourselves of these items. Even my truck, when I sold it, I hadn't been without a vehicle since I was 16. And now I thought, oh, I'm gonna feel like I've just lost a limb getting rid of my work truck. Reflecting on it now, it was brilliant. I felt so light. All of our possessions essentially that we used every day could fit into one hike pack. We had a sleeping bag, clothes, I had my hand tools that we traveled to Australia with. Tara brought her mountain bike. Back to the basics, but all the other crap that we didn't need, didn't use, or could just maybe accumulate again perhaps if we do need it, we sold and it felt so good. It was like, you know, we can cleanse our body, we can go on a juice fast, we can do all these, but you'd be surprised the feelings that you get when you take all these attachments uh, to material items out of your life. It's, it's rejuvenating. And what it did do was it made me appreciate the things that I do have that much more. When Tara and I were in Australia, we went to Kmart, which they still have, <laughs> and we bought these little bike trailers that you hook onto the back of your pedal bike. And everything that we owned, we kept either on the bike in panniers or a backpack or in this trailer or hike pack or sleep mat. Um, my hand tools I brought with me to because we were on a work travel visa and um, sleeping bag, just the basics. And we hauled them around Australia with us for almost a year. It felt so cool because that's it. You didn't, you know, aside from a little bit of grease on the chain, you didn't have to maintain anything. I didn't have to do oil changes on my truck and worry about the gas and filling the tank and insurance and, and all those everyday things and it just felt so nice to, to not have to worry about these things anymore. When I did start to to look at what I needed and what I needed for everyday living, for life, for work, all those sorts of things, I only use what I have and I have what I use now and it's light, it feels light. You don't have all these toys and all these things depreciating, collecting dust, rusting out. And unless you use it and really appreciate it and gain a lot of life experiences from it or value, entertainment, you know, fulfillment from, then maybe you don't need it anymore. Maybe have a, have a garage sale uh, in the spring and sell off a bunch of the crap with a couple thousand dollars in your pocket from selling all these things that you didn't even realize you had perhaps, you could go on a nice trip down south for a few weeks in the winter and gain, gain more life experience rather than just sitting on a bunch of garbage that, that is serving you no good. Try it out. Try it out. We're sort of programmed through advertising and, and that to to judge one another on our material possessions and our status and what we have and what we've accumulated and, and that kind of thing. And that's great if you use it and if you love it, but if it's just to impress people that you don't even like, why bother? That's the way I see it. Put value in what you have and use it and get rid of the crap you don't use. Somebody else could, could love it, could use it and love it. So. If you like this video, if you like these topics, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crafting a Dream, and I'll be glad to, uh, to share some more stories with you. And um, thank you very much for watching.